Hello everyone, welcome back to some Dragon Quest. We are at the Altar of Ages, about to make a monumental decision. Yes, we are going to go ahead and travel through time, or, well, destroy time? We're going to completely lose all of our progress, uh, at least since the, you know, the, since before the World Tree fell. Um... I'm gonna quickly- well, I think I've spoken to everyone this way, but I wonder if... Can we do a party talk? No. Okay, there we go. So... They're not too happy about our decision, even though they would love to see Veronica again. The fact that we have to go by ourselves, and it could all go wrong... I, uh... It's a, it's a massive, massive thing to do. But... We need to do it. I'm also, just to be on the safe side, going to keep a separate save file. So if I ever want to come back and do something else, we can do. But I'm sure we won't need to. Uh, so yeah, there's no going back. I am sure, yes. <sighs> okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Mm. Mm. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. Even though this will basically destroy everyone's memories of everything that's happened, the timeline will be forever changed. They're gonna let us do it. Time to talk to Slender Penguin. The decision is made. Then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much, but some semblance of your present self will remain. Oh, really? Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far, your knowledge of battle, and all that you have learned. Oh, so all of my abilities will stay intact, I'm guessing. Well, that's good, because that was something I was worried about. And last of all... The containers that surround the altar. These are the time capsules. Sacred vessels are immune to the flow of time. Immune to the flow of time? Wow. When you shatter the sphere, all that you possess will be placed within them. Oh, like my equipment? Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Oh, well, that's bloody convenient. There is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. Ah, uh, the one thing that we kind of need. But you should retain possession of its twin. The Sword of Shadows. Okay, so what's the significance of the Sword of Shadows then? I know it's what Mordigan was using. He turned our Sword of Light into the Sword of Shadows, but what the hell does it do? I hope so. Now you know all that I know. Who else is unknowable? When you are ready, join me by the sphere. Right, so whatever this thing is, they have alleviated some of my fears, especially, you know, progress to do with levels and abilities and equipment, so at least we're not going to lose all of that. 
Uh, it's just, you know, we're not going to see our, our mates in their current forms. They're going to be completely unaware of all that has happened. But, again, Veronica is worth it. Let's do this. I am going to join you by the sphere. There is no going back. Are you sure you want to return to the past? Y no, yes. Yes. Oh, they really want to make you sure that you are sure. <laughs> Here we go. Step forward, Luminary, and into the past. <laughs> Wait! Oh, you can't stop me now. I've, I've already said I'm ready twice. When you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this. Oh shit, yeah. Oh fuck. I forgot about that. We're not gonna have Hendrik. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Oh thanks, man, but past you isn't gonna know that. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. This, this is weird. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there <laughs> for you whenever you need us. The us's of the past. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. Uh, yes. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. No pressure. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood, after all. <laughs> well, at least he's confident. Oh, Serena. Hmm? I... I suppose I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became... So much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please. <laughs> if you don't mind. I hope you'll take me along with you. All over again. You got damn right we will. Of course we will. What are you talking about? Aw, oh, you know what? I have come to really like Serena. I mean, I've always liked her, but especially after all these events have happened. sad. I mean, we're not really saying goodbye like he said. See you on the other side. Exactly, but the fact that they will lose all memory of all of this, well, most of, you know, things, I don't know. Still sad. Oh, wow. Forgot how handsome Mordigan was. Veronica!
yeah, freaking, we're bringing back Mordigan and Jasper all over again. This is crazy. And I'm guessing, well, Serena's going to be severely nerfed. And remember, we'll be waiting for you. All right, Gemma. Take this curve. This harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Friends, shipmates, amigos, spar thrust and the rainbow await. The Stani beckons! I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing. We're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Previously on Dragon Quest XI. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Oh, man. So where has it actually plonked us down? On the random road somewhere. And there it is. And the tree's still there. So we must be very close to Arborea. Uh, record your activities in the adventure log. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, but I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to create a different save file. Which I usually do whenever I save anyway. So it's no big deal. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, sip of my Ribena. Got woken up today with uh, some fried chicken, which was quite nice. Time Traveler! Ho ho! Do I get a trophy for it? So, <laughs> see the world saved once more, but properly this time. We do! We got a, tro a trophy! Right, so this is back before shit hit the fan. We've seen Arborea before, but okay. It's funny, it's telling me to skip it. So, I want to check my party, but how is everyone doing? Oh, it's just me. Is everyone waiting for me in Arborea then? Wait, what? Oh, I'm still level 50. That's good. Still got all my stuff. Seems to be the case. It's really good. It's really good. Um, what about my character builder? Okay, yeah, we still have access to pretty much everything. Good stuff, good stuff. We've only got one point, though. Uh, your companions all gather gathered in the cathedral. Right. Let's go see them. And I suppose now would be a good time to do those quests that I was going to do uh, back in the first forest before we got to the tree in the first place. Let me just quickly check my quests. Uh, still haven't got that one yet, or that one. Oh, wow. So... Ooh, okay. Maybe we need to re reacquire the quests? Well, there's nothing on the map, so let's just go to the cathedral. We get to see Veronica again! Oh, Serenica! Blessed ancestor! The time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. There she is! Aww. Long time no see, kiddo. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. 
We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. A load of bad shit. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. Well, she was a, a woman of her word, that's for sure. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will. Serenica, sage of legend, lend me your power. Help me fulfill my duty and protect the luminary. <laughs> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? <laughs> I love Veronica, I've missed her so much. Uh, no, no. What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? Oh, of course, they, they won't know where the hell I've got this sword from. <laughs> <laughs> was talking to us all and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave what were you thinking i'm sorry hmm? what's the matter cat got your tongue stop staring at me like that will you you look like you've seen a ghost oh if only you knew we've got important things to be getting on with the last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo <laughs> So come on, pull yourself together. All right, Veronica, absolutely. Anything you say. And the rest of the gang. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Yeah, about that. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? <laughs> Everyone's commenting on the sword. I mean, it does look proper evil, doesn't it? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? I suppose. Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away. Can I not just tell them that I'm from the future? <laughs> I mean, they might not find that e easily believable, but I don't know. They, surely the Luminary, they, they would believe me eventually, wouldn't they? Ooh, right, quests have appeared. Are these the same quests we tried way, 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 way back earlier in the game? Um, yeah, he wants that super red kale. Didn't we get that? I think we did. I don't know where the hell it was, though. Wait, do I have those quests back then now? Ah, uh, we do! Right, so I can give the seeds back, but we still need to find the uh, the red kale. Okay, and then all the other quests we can't do just yet. Right, well that's that's good then. That's good. Let's ho uh, ho. Let's go. Let's ho. Let's go to the the grove place. Grove of repose. And yeah, try and find this red kale. No idea where it was. Can't even remember if I did find it on my first trip, but... There we go. My grandfather told me that the bigger the wish you ask for, uh, ask of the seeds, the prettier the flowers will be when they finally bloom. There we go. And we got the healer! Bum bum! So, again, can't remember if we actually did that quest before or not, but we've done it again now. So, that's good, in it? Right, everyone's back. This is crazy. They're, oh my god, they're only level 34. Oh, I suppose it's only mages stuff that has carried over. 
Well, equip... Uh... Do they... Oh, they must have the same equipment that we had at this point. That's crazy. I mean, eventually, I, I must get all my stuff back, surely. Uh, well, okay, well, I guess we'll just carry on. At least Mage is still pretty freaking powerful. Uh... Do I have access to any other stuff that I made? Yeah, I do. We'll give her this... I don't know who I want in, in my party now. I, I feel like I should have Veronica because, you know... She's awesome and we've missed her. Uh... I think I'll get Eric out for Jade. Yeah, and I think I'll stick with that party. Yeah. Wow, this is great. This is weird. I didn't realize they'd all be at such a lower level. But it makes sense. It does make sense. Because they haven't returned from the future with all of their abilities, have they? Alright. So, to the first forest. Once more. Not for the first time. Let's a go. Father Benedictus. Um, yeah, you could say that. Quite a, quite a lot happened, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we know where the altar is. Just hope the Sword of Shadows is strong enough to prevail against the Lord of Shadows. I have no idea how this is going to go. Alright, so we need to get through the Alborian Highlands again. Which isn't too far. So, I'm probably not going to bother about too many fights. Because we've done all this before. Even if my other party members probably could use some XP. I'm not sure if it's worth it, because we'll eventually... I don't know. I don't know if we have to re-level them completely or not. Uh, we'll grab this campsite. Might as well. Oh, in fact, you know what we could do? Check the forge, yes. Because we should still have all those new recipes that we've gathered. Oh, we've learned a new ability. Crosscutter Blow. Swift pair of strong strikes across two diagonal squares. Ah, uh, we've not had an ability like that yet. Um, well, we definitely got a bunch of new weapons, didn't we? Yeah, the Nebulous Sword. Which is just one-handed. Uh, oh, you actually need to use the Stardust Sword in the recipe. So we could make one of those. And I suppose... I don't know. I don't know if anyone's going to actually use that yet. Knives, darting dagger. Could make that instead of with, with the deft dagger. I don't know. We could do... Uh, wands. No. Heavy wands. That's pretty good. Bright staff. How do I get a bright staff? I must have to buy one. And bright and rock. Where the hell do we get those? Oh, that's a more powerful version of her current spear. Well, her old spear that we could give her because we still have it. Uh, in fact, I really should just upgrade everyone's equipment to the best that they can possibly wear. Um, auto-equip offensive. Yes. There we go. Because that spear is epic. It's just... God damn it. Did we not have... Did we not have her dress? I thought we, we should have, shouldn't we? Warrior princess dress, yeah. I suppose it doesn't technically have as much defense, but we're going to equip that on her. Because I love it. Because it's amazing. Um, and in fact... Uh, oh no, that's okay. That's alright. Uh, offensive. 
I don't want to give her whips. No, I don't want to give her whips. Uh, okay, I'll do that, but I'll change her weapon back to the Sage's Staff. Uh, you're okay, I think. Apart from your Saintess dress, of course. And the Goddess Tiara, there we go. Looking snazzy with the long hair this time. Even though I actually kind of preferred her shorter hair. Uh, who else, who else, who else? Eric. That's okay. And... Alrighty, there we go. I think everyone's kitted out. Oh, it's weird not having Hendrik in the party, though. That's crazy. Right, anyway, let's, uh... Let's quickly just check the forge again. I don't know if there's any new armor or anything. Can't remember picking up any new armor recipes, but I might be wrong. No, I think, I think we're good, really. There's a couple of things I'd like to make, but I can't right now, so... I'm not going to worry too much. Let's just get cracking. I want to see what happens at the tree now. Really badly. I want to see. I want to see what happens. Do 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 do. Uh, I wonder if I'll have to reacquire chests that I. I don't know. Let me just quickly check this way. Uh, oh, right, okay, I will have to get chests again. Magic circle. Okay, so we're just going to treat this as if it's the first time we're going through an area, but we know obviously it's not. So I'll just keep an eye out for any items. More ghost penguins. Back in the first forest. Wait, can I zoom? Can I actually zoom about the world now? Oh, I guess I can. Or at least to all the places that we've been to. Not that I really need to, though, but it's nice that we can. In fact, won't Heliodor be okay again? We could go back to Hell. Well, maybe it won't let us go back to Helidor because of the whole, you know, King Carnelian still being a bastard in this timeline. I forgot about this bridge. Uh, I don't remember fighting these guys, but I'm guessing I have done. The left over this way. Keep an eye out for any shinies, guys. Any shinies? Or ropes, for that matter. Uh, I don't really need to fight you. Oh, wait, no, there is. You know what? Screw it. We've not had. Oh, 69. We've not had some fights in a while. So let's do this! With all my snazzy new abilities that I didn't have back then. But everyone's like, whoa, Mage is super powerful for some reason. Did he go off grinding by himself when he disappeared? Ho oh, ho. Not quite, not quite, but I guess you could say that. So a bunch of ingredients we might not need anymore, but we'll still grab them. And a chesticle. I don't remember what was inside. Oh, Saint's Ashes, yeah. Okay. I'm curious, actually. We should have tons of those. Wherever they are. Um, 
same time. Yeah, we got seven, so really we're getting the item twice, and we're getting to keep them twice, aren't we? That's crazy. Those time capsules are damn useful. Alright, so... Where is this red kale? I honestly don't remember. It might have been quite close to the top, which is maybe why I didn't bother going back to Arborea. To hand it in. So I'm trying to think, like, this was around the early 50s mark in video numbers, which was probably a good month or so ago in real life time. Real time. It's a long time. It's a damn long time. Oh, excuse me, a bunch of statues and uh, succubuses or succubats, whatever they're called. A bit of money. I think they all just ran off. Yeah, they did. They saw this, the, the sword of shadows on my back and they're like, Fuck that, I ain't messing with him. He looks like a bit of a badass. And they'd be right. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything behind the tree? No. To do our tippy toes. Kind of wish I'd rested until it was daytime. It might be easier to see stuff. Although, then again, the shinies probably turn up better at nighttime. Uh, another ghost penguin. I think there was something this way, wasn't there? Yep. I think all the enemies are running away. Savvy Sapphire, very nice. And take a right. And then we'll might as well stop at the campsite. Around here before we do. Ah, yes. Okay. Let's rest until morning. Have a sip of my drink. That's much nicer, isn't it? Oh, yes. So pretty. Oh, those things again. I remember you. I'll just leave you be. If you're kipping in the morning, sleeping in, that's fine. I, I can relate. Not a problem. This is a really nice area. Probably one of my favorites. Again, I think I mentioned when I was first coming through here, it does remind me a lot of Nino Kuni. Which is not a bad thing. Just can't remember if there was anything hidden around here. Can't see anything. Up the fungus we go.
Sorry, I don't really have much to say while we're repeating this area. It's kind of like, well... Just got to get through it as, as efficiently as possible. Oh, this guy's awake. Probably can't avoid him, though. Oh yeah, quite easily. Uh, that's where we need to go, so we won't. Excuse me, sir. Wasn't there anything this way? Oh yeah, of course, it was super hidden. Here we go. That's the da that's the bastard. Red kale, right. So what I'm gonna do is head to. Well, actually, you know what? Just to in case you know, you know what, we're just gonna zoom back now. I know we've not quite got to the end of it yet, but I wanna hand in this quest. It won't take us long to get through here now. Now that I've found that, I can just pretty much just run through the place. It's no big deal. Do, 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 do. Right, sir, we've got your red kale, wherever you are. Near the cathedral. What do you think of this? This is it! The vital ingredient! I have merely to add it to my super soup, and the recipe will be at last complete. At last be complete. I will prepare it immediately. Oh. That is disgusting! I have never tasted anything quite so foul in all my life! But wait! I can feel it! It, it is working! Ho ho! I am bursting with energy, as if the life force of the first forest, no, of the world tree herself, is surging through my every sinew. I have to say it so grossly. You are a true servant of sal salubrity. Uh, my, my young friend, take this. May it bring you happiness? A butterfly baton. Is that any good? Is that going to be worth equipping on, uh... Sir, is it a wand? I would think it would be a wand. But I do not know. Butterfly Baton. Alright, yeah, it's okay. It's pretty good. 8% chance of beguiling nature family enemies when attacking. Well, whatever. Give that to her. There we go. Those actually look kind of like they match. Ish. Sort of. Very good. Right, back to the first forest we go, chaps. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.